Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 5th of 2024 is titled M27, not a comet. So what do we see here? Well, here we do not see a comet. We see the object known as M27, which is also known as the Dumbbell Nebula. And why do we call it not a comet when we know it's not a comet? Of course, lots of objects are not comets. But this is actually one of the Messier objects. And that is a catalog of a little over a 100 objects that were done back in the 1700s. They were cataloged by Charles Messier. And what he cataloged was the objects that did not look like individual stars through a small telescope. So they were cataloged and organized so that people would remember what objects were where and that these objects were not comets. So you didn't have to follow and watch an object again to see if it was moving when you could remember that it had already been identified. Now there are all kinds of objects in Messier's catalog, including a galaxy M31, the Andromeda galaxy. We have the Orion Nebula, a star forming region, which is M42. We have a supernova remnant, M1, the Crab Nebula, the remnant of an exploded star. And we even have clusters of stars, such as M13, the great globular cluster in Hercules. Now, here we see a different type of object, not like any of those others. It's actually a planetary nebula. Now, a planetary nebula is what occurs at the end of the life of a star, much like our own sun. So when that star reaches the end of its life, the inner layers compact down to a dense white dwarf star. This contains most of the mass of the star, but is about the size of Earth. The rest of the material expands outward as the star grows and grows in size, becoming a supergiant and then a, gi a gi supergiant star, and then eventually becomes so large that it becomes unstable. And those outer layers, due to pulsations within the star itself, will then expel that material and that will expand out into space. It is illuminated by the energy of that hot white dwarf star at the center. And that hot star does give off a lot of ultraviolet light. And the ultraviolet light will ionize the gases around it and cause them to glow. So it will energize those. And we get the glowing gases much as we get in things like a neon tube here on Earth when we energize neon gas that causes that to glow. Well, the same kind of thing is happening on a much grander scale out here in space when we look at an example of a nebula like this one. So getting a preview here of what our sun could look like in another five or six billion years when it has reached the end of its life. So that was our picture of the day for October 5th of 2024. It was titled M27, not a comet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be a comet's tail. So what we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.